hello students whenever you taste lemon what type of taste do you get you get a sour taste right if you taste sugar you get sweet taste if you taste baking soda then it is very slippery and slimy and if you taste water there is no taste in water so all of these taste it de depends on how that particular substance is so in this chapter we will be learning about acid and bases so we will start with the chapter introduction to acid and base so do you all know what is an acid well acid imparts sour taste and that is why it is called as acid also acids are soluble in water and they are highly corrosive you cannot touch acids with your own hand if it is a very strong acid you might even get burn so it also depends on what type of acid even acid is there in various food that we consume when you consume lemon there is acid in it when you consume tamarind there is acid in it we consume vinegar there is acid in it so there are different types of acids which are there even in our stomach acid is present so that we can digest whatever we eat so animals and plants also possess acids in them now children as acids can be very corrosive if it is a strong acid which we call it as mineral acid so the example of mineral acid is hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid these acid are caustic and they are inflammatory so that is why in these type of acid you have some symbols this is the symbol of corrosive that means you can get burn because of this acids acid is also present in the food that we consume but these acid are called as natural acid or carbonic acid as we consume them they are called as natural acid and as we are eating them we are consuming them that is why these acid are called as weak acid these are not strong acid here are a few examples of acid with their formula first one is hydrochloric acid formula is h c l as we have hydrogen here and we have chlorine here so that is why it is h c l then is nitric acid which is h n o 3 acetic acid that is nothing but vinegar that the formula is ch3 c double o h benzoic acid formula is c6 h5 c double o h now as it is an acid group that is why we are putting c double o h c double o h here then next is hydroidic acid that is h i hydrofluoric acid that is h f do you all know what is base so bases are the substance which have a bitter taste and also they are slippery to touch and that is why they are called as bases example can be soap it can be caustic soda it can be baking soda all these are the example of bases if children we compare acids and bases and if we dissolve in water so we will see that acids have h plus ion as their main constituent and bases have oh minus ion as their main constituent so from this also we can identify whether it is an acid or whether it is an base now if we have to know whether it is an acid or it is a base so the substances which change their color in the presence of acid or base these are called as indicators so there are indicators through which we can identify that whether it is an acid or whether it is an base it will show specific color range and the most common indicator that is used is the litmus paper there are other chemical indicators also that we use so we use methyl orange we use phenolphthalein we use methyl red and these change color if we add them in acid or if we add them in base for example if i talk about methyl orange 
so as it is methyl orange it is orange in color but when we add methyl orange in acid it will turn pink and when we add in base it will turn yellow so from that we can come to know that if it is turning pink so it is an acid and if that solution is turning yellow so that means this solution is a base so in these way indicators play a very important role in identifying whether it a substance or whether a chemical is acid or it is a base so if we have to check what the color changes to when we add the indicator in acid and base so if we use a litmus paper so here first we are using blue litmus paper so if we test it with acid we get a red color and if we test it with base then it will get blue only it will not change so that means it becomes red then only that solution is acid next is litmus paper red litmus paper so here when you take that red litmus paper and you test it with an acid so it will remain same that it will remain red only it will not change but jaise hum usko base mein dalenge so it becomes blue next is methyl orange the color of the indicator is orange only if we add the drop of methyl orange in any solution the color should change to pink then it is an acid and if color changes to yellow it is an alkali or you can say base next is phenolphthalein now if you will see the color of phenolphthalein is colorless so when we test it with acid the color is colorless only it will not change to any color but if we test it with base the color becomes pink next is methyl red the color of methyl red is red color if we test it with acid the color becomes red but if we test it with base the color becomes yellow so with these colors we come to know whether it is an acid or whether it is a base now usually this is a ph scale which we call it as now from 0 to 14 we have the ph scale in between 7 if the color is greenish and it is neutral so 7 is neutral if it goes down so it is acidic from 0 to 6 it is acidic and from your 8 to 14 it is alkaline or you can say as alkali or base now we can also prepare natural indicators at home by using home materials and as if we don't have uh, availability to the laboratory so we can make our own natural materials we can take our own natural materials and we can prepare the indicators and those are called as natural indicators so you can prepare the red litmus paper and blue litmus paper with help of turmeric with help of hibiscus with help of red cabbage you can even use uh, different colors of flowers which are there to prepare these type of litmus paper with help of natural indicators now for this it is very simple you have to take a simple uh, paper but you have to remember that the color of the paper should be white so usually we take white filled up paper and we have to rub that particular material on that paper and we have to keep it to dry as it dry we can cut into strips and then we can start testing it whether it is an acid or whether it is a base so with the help of natural materials you can prepare your own natural indicators and you can test whether the solution or whether a substance is acid and what color it changes or whether it is base and what color it changes you can even try at home with the help of turmeric as turmeric is available to everyone but one thing you have to remember that you have to take a white filter paper as it absorbs the water into it and it it will absorb the color into it absorb the chemical of that substance that you are using so and then only it will change the color here are few acids that are present in the food that we consume in our day to day life so in vinegar acetic acid is present in orange ascorbic acid is present tamarind contains tartaric acid tomato contains oxalic acid curd contains lactic acid and lemon contains citric acid these are all natural acid or you can also say as organic acid which are naturally present in these materials 
and children these acids are weak acid and that is why when you consume these food so you don't get any type of burn as these are very weak acid it is it is natural and it is it will not cause any harm to your body but on the other hand if you will consume uh, the mineral acid so they will cause very harm it will cause harm to your body also and you might even burn your throat as well as your tongue 